When I have a graph that displays a trend over time, I like to include a date range slider filter. This allows users to easily select the start and end dates. They can either drag the slider to adjust the time period or manually choose specific dates from the menu. This area chart here is the graph that I want to add our date filter to. To do this, I'll go to our area chart worksheet and edit our order date filter to use a range of dates rather than a relative date. But you can see this is a big time frame from 2021 to 2024. So our area chart looks a bit cluttered right now. To limit the dates that are included in our slider, I'm going to right click on our order date field to duplicate it. I'll call this order date filter. I'll pull this into the filters and choose a relative date. And I only want the slider to include the last three quarters relative to today. Then I'll right click on our new filter and go to apply to selected worksheets. And I'll check off all the worksheets that I want the order date slider to affect. On a dashboard, I'll go to the worksheet that we applied the filter on. Then I'll click the little down arrow, go to Filters, and choose the second order date. But you can see the values are still from 2021 to 2024. So I'll hit the down arrow on the filter and choose only relevant values. And I'll move the slider around a little to like adjust or reset it. And I'll do this for both the start and end date, since this data set includes dates in the future. And now the options within our slider are only for the past three quarters. For formatting, I'll right click to uncheck title. Then I'll move it into this little box I have. To change the font, I'll use the down arrow and format the filters. And for the body, I'm going to choose a black color and make it Tableau medium so it sticks out a little bit more. Then I'll add a text object and I'll type the word two in there. I'll change this to Tableau medium and black to match our filter criteria. Then I'll move this in between our start and end date. Now users have the option to filter for what time period this trend is over. They can either manually enter in a start or end date, or they can use the slider.